Hey guys, it's another hematology video from Metacosis Perfectionalis. We have talked about methemoglobinemia, cyanide poisoning, and carbon monoxide poisoning before. Today, let's compare between the three of them. I know, I know that the word versus is only used to compare between two things, but not three. I know some English, so thank you very much, because there are lots of people in the comment section who would like to prove me wrong. Thank you very much. And let's get started. I have good news! I'm ready to upload videos about platelets, bleeding disorders, and coagulation disorders. We'll go through the physiology and talk about the platelet plug, the coagulation cascade, and then we'll discuss pathologies such as DIC, TTP, HUS, HELP syndrome, um, stuff like um, Bernard Solier, Glensman thromboasthenia, all of this stuff we'll cover. We'll talk about heparin and warfarin and the crazy stuff. But first, please help me reach 35,000 subscribers and start uploading these videos immediately. Thank you so much in advance. First, whenever you are analyzing a table, you have to do two things. Number one, you go through the whole table vertically. So, we'll discuss methemoglobinemia and know everything about methemoglobinemia first. Then we'll shift to cyanide poisoning and do it vertically. Then CO poisoning and do it vertically. Once you're done with this step, do it horizontally one more time. Let's compare them by the definition, by the etiology. This is the best way to study. Just reading them by your eyes is a terrible idea to retain information. Because repetition is the mother of pedagogy. So let's start by the etymology, the science of words. Meta means change. Emia means blood. Hemoglobin is the hemoglobin. Cyanide, we call it cyanide because it came from the word cyan, which means blue. That's why cyanosis means blue. Why do we call cyanide blue? Because it came from Prussian blue. Definition. Methemoglobin, instead of normal hemoglobin, I'm sorry, you have the normal. This is the normal, the ferrous. Fe2 carries O2. And here is the methemoglobin instead of the normal hemoglobin, which is ferric. The ferric is hysteric. It cannot bind oxygen. Cyanide poisoning, exposure to cyanide. CO poisoning due to exposure to CO due to incomplete combustion, which is improper ventilation. Because if you have proper ventilation, you will add oxygen to the CO, giving you carbon monoxide poisoning, which is not toxic. Etiology, acquired or congenital. Acquired such as what? such as local anesthetics, anything that ends in cane, such as lidocaine, sulfur drugs, nitrites and nitrates, sepsis, dehydration, deficiency of the enzyme. What's the enzyme? NADPH-dependent cytochrome B5 methemoglobin reductase. Cyanide poisoning. Fires are the most common cause. Suicide ingestion, sodium nitroprusside, almonds and apricots if you are a lunatic and you eat lots of them, like tons of them. Carbon dioxide poisoning. Number one, fires, suicide, the, the story of the car, and the mufflers, they are obstructed, and barbecues. What's the pathophysiology, or as many students call it, the pathophys? Methemoglobinemia, methemoglobin cannot carry oxygen because it's the Fe3, and the ferric is hysteric. Only Fe2 can bind O2. Decreased oxygen saturation will lead to tissue hypoxia, will increase the EPO as a response, leading to secondary polycythemia, which means increased number of red blood cells. Methemoglobin cannot release oxygen, left shift of the oxygen dissociation curve, lactic acidosis, and hagma. What's the pathophysiology of cyanide poisoning? Cyanide binds the ferric in the complex 4, which inhibits the electron transport chain, no ATP. The cells will use the anaerobic glycolysis as an alternative pathway for energy, leading to hagma, because lactic acid increases the anion gap and causes metabolic acidosis. No oxygen is going to the mitochondria will lead to increased oxygen in the vein, increasing the PVO2. CO poisoning inhibits complex 4, same thing anaerobic and hagma. Forms this hemoglobin, known as the carboxyhemoglobin, decreases oxygen binding, I'm sorry, oxygen loading and oxygen unloading. CO poisoning affects the hemoglobin and the myoglobin, leading to atraumatic rhabdomyolysis and of course it shifts the curve to the left. Clinically speaking, methemoglobinemia, chocolate-colored blood, 
Dusky colored skin, headache, weakness, chest pain. Cyanide poisoning, bitter almond breath, dilated pupils, diaphoresis, headache, and arrhythmia. CO poisoning, the whole family has headache in the winter at the same time. Headache is the most common symptom. Flu-like symptoms without fever, cherry red skin, cutaneous bullet. How to diagnose these diseases? Methemoglobinemia start by ruling out G6PD deficiency. The blood color is dark or chocolate color blood. The filter paper test and the enzyme assay. Do you remember the name of the enzyme? NADPH dependent cytochrome B5 methemoglobin reductase. Cyanide poisoning, arterial blood gas and venous blood gas. The arterial blood gas to diagnose the high anion gas metabolic acidosis. The venous blood gas to diagnose the high PVO2. And of course, you have increased plasma cyanide level by definition. CO poisoning, the spectrophotometry will detect the carboxy hemoglobin. The pulse co-oximetry will detect the decreased oxygen saturation. Don't use the pulse oximetry, use the pulse CO oximetry for CO poisoning. ABG and VBG for the HAGMA and increased PVO2. Your professors know that you will confuse all of these things, so they will ask you about them left and right. Let's start with the PaO2. What's the PaO2? It's the oxygen that's floating in the arterial blood and not the oxygen that's on the hemoglobin. So let's start with methemoglobinemia. It's normal. In not cyanide poisoning, it's normal. In CO poisoning, it's normal. Let's go to the SaO2. What is the SaO2? It's the oxygen that's on the hemoglobin. It's decreased in methemoglobinemia and CO poisoning, but normal in cyanide poisoning. Because cyanide poisoning is nothing but a mitochondrial toxin. It has nothing to do with the hemoglobin. The oxygen dissociation curve. Shift to the left, shift to the left, normal. Why? Because cyanide poisoning is nothing but a mitochondrial toxin. It has nothing to do with the methemoglobin or the hemoglobin. Complex 4, normal, inhibited and inhibited. What is the complex 4? It's the cytochrome C oxidase, also known as cytochrome AA3. How to treat those jerks? Methemoglobinemia, remove the cause. Give vitamin C and vitamin B2 if the case is mild. If the case is severe, give IV methylene blue, hydrate, bicarbonate for the acidosis and oxygen. To treat cyanide poisoning, remove the clothes, 100% oxygen and the cyanide antidote, the famous triad. Hydroxycobalamin, sodium nitride, sodium thiosulfate for the carbon monoxide poisoning. Remove from the environment 100% oxygen and if the case is really severe, the hyperbaric oxygen chamber. If you would like some questions and vignettes, go to my Facebook page. I have around 85 cases and counting. So go to facebook.com forward slash medicosis. And don't forget to subscribe and share my videos so that I can reach 35,000 subscribers and then we'll start making videos on platelet and coagulation disorders. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy and study hard.